Welcome to Richmond Wheel and Caster. Today we're going to take a look at our swing arm. I'm going to disassemble one, show you how to change the limit switches, and I'll show you where the DC motor sits on the arm as well. Let's get started. So here we have our arm, and to begin the disassembly, we've got a few tools here that you're going to need. First things first, we need to turn the arm over and you can see here that on the end of the cable there is a, a little plastic nut. So just undo that nut, slip that out of the way and then on the rear of the housing you've got four screws. Use your hex key to undo all four. Slide the housing down the arm, disconnect to the blue and green and the green and yellow wires. You can now turn this over and do the other six screws. Take the top housing off. And inside, you can pull the coupling back and the motor will come away from the, the housing. Pull the wires out. On the base, you've got two screws on this side and one on this side. The limit switches will now pull out. So we'll get rid of those ones. And I've got some new ones here. The green and yellow and the blue and yellow. Green and yellow goes in first. And then we put the small screw back into the housing, which is just a locating screw, which will now stop the second limit switch from moving too far. We can put the screws back into the limit switches, being careful not to over tighten them. They only need to be finger tight. Check the movement, perfect. Now thread the wires back through the hole in the housing. Pull back on, this, on the coupling and the arm will sit just inside that housing. You may need to turn the coupling or the arm to have it all line up. Now we can put the top plate back on. Slide the housing up. Just tighten them up. Reconnect the blue and green and yellow and green wires. And you can now just loosely wrap these up and screw them back to the housing. And then just tuck these wires in. And you can now slide the housing back over the entire motor. Now you actually want to leave just a small gap because now we're going to secure the top housing, which is a little tricky because of the length of the bolts. So I'll stand this motor up 
so that the bolts hang directly straight down. Okay, now with the motor standing up, I can drop these bolts back into the correct hole and I can actually see how they line up with the thread holes. Because I've got it standing upright, the bolts drop directly down. And because I'm holding this case up slightly, I can see where the screw is. And I can just line it up correctly and thread it into the hole. As you thread this in, you'll feel the case start to start to drop. I've already threaded the other three, so I can now just go back to tightening them up and finishing off the arm. So just tighten up the four bolts. They don't need to be too tight, just tight enough to hold the housing on. And then we slide the connector back up the cable. Tighten that up. And we've replaced some limit switches on our swing arm.